Hi, loving friends. It's Chris here from Radical Light. Thank you for joining me today, and thank you for being here today. Today, I want to discuss about fear a little more in depth. So I've done another video on fear, and it's on my YouTube channel. And this would be my second video on fear um, as a gift to you. So there are fears that have been hiding, right? They've been hiding in nooks and crannies within you, within your being. We're like, we're like this vessel and we keep stuffing them down, stuffing them down or hiding them and saving them for another day. or hoping they'll go away, but they don't go away. So they're hiding in our unconscious mind, expressed and reflected in the physical body that you are, okay? Maybe for, maybe for most, but not all, these are fears you never knew you had, okay? You never knew you had, you never know they were there that have been maybe hiding in the base of your spine, right? Or in the base of your brain, or hiding in your joints of your body, or maybe they're hiding in various organs in your body, hiding in the deep parts mm -hmm. of your brain, right? Hiding behind your heart, maybe. Hiding in places of discomfort, or aches or pains in your body, or hiding in your chakras or in your aura. You're hiding these fears in different parts of your being, okay? These fears you never knew you had. Some people have these fears and they're enlarging themselves so deep that they usually never knew they were even there in the first place. Then now all of a sudden, they have these fears stronger than ever. Where'd this fear come from? Why all of a sudden I have fear? Why am I fearing? I don't know what I'm fearing about. We can say what's wrong with me. Where did I screw up? What did I do wrong this time? I'm always doing something wrong all the time and I can't make it right. Why do I always mess it up all the time? Mess up the beginning. Can I do anything right anymore? I just can't do it. It's too hard for me. I'm such a F up. You know what I mean? Why isn't the healing working? I spent all this money on healing. It's just not working. Why am I so messed up all the time? So I want to let you know that you have not gone wrong in any way. Okay? You're allowed to make mistakes. You're allowed to learn from them. Okay? Fear is a great and glorious teacher for you. And you celebrate the gifts of your fear. Okay? This is called resonant causation which brought these fears within the nooks and crannies within your being to the surface to be revealed, released, vented, and healed, okay? As slivers, as barbs, as pebbles, as hooks, they rise to the surface, right? They rise up, right? They need to be eradicated. They need to be released, and they need to be faced, okay? And they need to be healed, most of all. Not to be purged or purified through guilt, though. Because sometimes we try to purge and purify through guilt, but that just suff suffocates us even deeper, okay? So these are purified through resonance of a deeper love. That's what we do, a deeper love. One who dies within themselves reveal the treasures, the deep treasures within the field, and then creates a resonance to purify and transform and turn our life-giving energy. So we raise our frequency, and then we transform these fears, okay? An alchemist at heart, that's what you are. You're an alchemist. A magician of love's embrace, each and every one of you, okay? Therefore, those fears that you're currently using and that are in residue, those are viral fears, okay? That you never knew you had, okay? Also, out of resonance, what happens is there's a chasm, a oh, chasm, right? A space, a chasm that forms, or a deep canyon between what was and what will be, okay? This chasm between the less luminous intent and the more luminous real intent this chasm is between your dreams, visions, memories, myths, gifts, abilities, spiritual powers, and wisdom. This chasm is between your conscious and your unconscious state of being and mind. The more real the unconscious creates dreams, visions, memories, and myths. Resonance create a yawn, okay? A yawning, a chasm creates this gap, this cavity, this golly, right? And and when it occurs, often people turn to a bridge of gooey guilt and glue fears to close the gap, to fill it in, right? When you become more clear to see your lesser and more real self, when you become aware of your conscious dreams and how they vary from your unconscious ones, your conscious myths, visions, dreams, and memories, and how they vary from your unconscious yeah. ones which is so drastically critical for your growth, is often filled with goo guilt and glue fear. And a bridge of fear forms. Fear functions to close a gap, so we think it does anyways. Sometimes we're in such a hurry to close the bridge, the gap between our unconscious self, right, and the conscious self, that we use fear, but in the long run, we just generate a greater gap. That's what we do. We generate a greater gap with repeated patterns of more fear that only creates a larger chasm. 
Sometimes you're in such a hurry to finish, running out of time, no time for slow process. And instead of trusting, you may panic, go into fight or flight or freeze to speed up the gap, okay, to close it in. This leaves you in anxiety, feeling overwhelmed, panicking, tired, hating your ears, forgetting what you learned, in an unconscious fear state of mind and being. Also with resonance, you open yourself up to the unknown, okay, to the possible and to the future, the new fears of where you are going and where you have been, of what you are becoming not out of what you have been. Stop being a byproduct of your past. There is no more past anymore. That's a hard truth to accept, right? That the history has finished, that there is no more past anymore. You know the ones, the old fears that are supposed to be done, finished, completed, and ended, those ones, okay? The old fears did generate this sense of feeling of separation with its struggle, with its exhaustion, with its paranoia, okay? With its overprotectiveness, with its avoid rejection, avoid humiliation, avoid confrontation, and avoid impact, okay? With its jeopardy, with its threats. These old fears, they threaten loss, they threaten with exposure, they threaten with confrontation, they threaten with ejection, they threaten with judgment, they threaten with punishment, they threaten your very existence, right, in a physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual way. Your existence of doing, your existence of having, your existence of possessing, this is what the old fears did. The new fears also, yes, threaten too. They threaten your very existence, but they threaten your existence of being and your, your presence that is beyond what you do, beyond what you have, and beyond what you possess. This is the realm of who and what you really are. New fears can emerge and rise out of the unknown, out of the possible, out of the phenomena of the decision that you have to make, okay? Out of the phenomena of the future, out of the phenomena of your deeper spirituality, okay? Residence as well generates new motivation, a new reason and to be and a new reason to do. Often this new motivation is unknown and it's mostly definitely unfamiliar and for many uncomfortable. Fear tries to return to the comfortable. Just like we in self-pity, we like to return back to the comfortable. We try to return back to the familiar, our shame, our guilt, our fear. To be quote, safe, so we think it's safe, an illusion of safe that we've created for ourselves. With the old motivations, we tend to want to hold on to them, right? The old reasons to be or to have are often the fear themselves we like to hold on to. I want to hold on to them because I do not trust the new ones that I'm going into right now, right? A lot of times we don't trust those. I'm unfamiliar with those new fears right now. Um, they are very uncomfortable to me and I'd rather just hold on to the old fears. Resonance also opens up us to a much stronger and deeper connection to our higher self or our truer self. Just this connection alone can produce fears for us. The phenomena of resonance, right, generates new fears. Oh yes, isn't this exciting? As I go along, I get to deal with my fears as they rise up, right? As I, in the direction of my higher self, my truer self, resonant causation, or raise new fears that have been lingering within me for all these lifetimes or all these years, we may say, then why bother dealing with this resonance thing anyways, right? This thing called ascension of a deeper love and connected to my higher self. What's the point of all this? Why well, I have to deal with all my pain and all my fears anyways, right? Precisely, right? Because divine one, just beyond your fears, just beyond them, there are so many miracles and magic waiting for you to grasp onto and use. That's right, so I celebrate the gifts of my fear. Such more of a, a rich, positive future to look forward to. Much of your virgin future and your dreams are wanting and waiting to be lived right beyond your fears. Right on the other side of your fears, Divine One. Within and behind your fears, you have untapped resources. There are pockets, right? Pockets of wisdom where these fears emerge and they bubble up on you, okay? Where you have resources and reservoirs of love, of forgiveness, of trust, of dignity, and of freedom. However, you put it together, you have reservoirs within you that are waiting for you, right, inside of you, and they're untapped, right? In the areas of your fear is where you are afraid. There is love you are not using. There is trust that you are not using. There is freedom that you're not accessing it. There is forgiveness that you're not using. These areas where you're feeling guilty, right, that has emerged from these fears. And this is where you have a passion, creativity, imagination. This is where you have dreams and visions. This is where you have determination. They are to a, a mark, right? A mark. They are to mark, as well as these are reserves to indicate reservoirs of your innate 
inner intuition, a grander love, and a pearl of deeper wisdom. These are pockets of intuition. These are pockets of wisdom where these fears emerge. These fears are also indicate where there is an emptiness inside of us, an emptiness, a void or a rift that needs to be filled with inside of us. Sometimes fear work um, to note a reservoir or resource within yourself. Other times they note an emptiness and or a lack. Sometimes they indicate where the hook, the entanglement, the barb, uh, the resistance, the obstacle, the impedance. Sometimes they show us where we need more loving and where we need, need more healing and an emptiness that needs to be filled with inside of us. Fears are not intended to be ended. They're not intended to be ended or shut off or destroyed. So I'm open. I'm open to the gifts of my fear. Okay, they are essential for your existence fear is okay. The very thing or the very fear that you threatens your existence right now has something essential attached to it. And you want to dive into this. You want to dive into your fears, not avoiding them, not making excuses, not blaming, but you want to dive into your fears, divine one. Therefore, fears are not to be ended. They're not to be ended, but to be used. Use your fears to be used. Use your fears, walk right through them, and then you move beyond them when you walk through them. Not around them, right? Not to avoid them, not to blame, not to make excuses, but to go right through them. That's what you do, Divine One. You go right through your fears. And as you go within and face them, and as you walk through your old and new fears with defining moments of love by thinking of things you're defining moments of love that you could define love for, and then you rise into a deeper truth, your truth, to share with the world, okay? Okay? And you go into do a deeper intuition, beauty, and wisdom, and even dignity. Now, Divine One, hold on to your higher self. Hold on to your soul. Hold on to your inner child. Hold on to your truer self. And come and play with your God, Goddess self, okay? And fly into a rare field of spiritual grace. If you feel guided to work with me in releasing any of your old or new fears, feel free to contact me. And thank you so much for listening today. This is Chris from Rocky Light. Steering in the mirror in wisdom and teachings. Galactic Council of Light and Love. Agathar Shambhala. <laughs> Transcend your fears and rise into who you are destined to become. Your fears hold beautiful gifts for you, Divine One. Face them, go through them with the finding moments of love, and you will see the pocket of wisdom on the other side of the fear that was so scary and you were so afraid to look at you'll find was very easy to walk through with the funny moments of love. For you are here to be realized, not re-forgotten. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing your magic and your wisdom with the world. Because on the other side of your fears is all your wisdom, all your magic, all your gifts, all your abilities, all your spiritual powers. So embrace your fear, dive in your fear, and rise up woo, into what you are destined to become. Whew.